Good morning everyone. Today we have our 2003 282 Sailfish, Grady White Sailfish, powered by twin 225 horsepower Yamaha four-stroke engines with about 800 hours. I'll give you the readouts when I get to the dash. Uh, this is the 282, not the 272. Big difference. More salt at, well, they're both salt after to be honest, but these d this does have the four strokes. The starboard engine has had the exhaust repair done. The port engine was scoped at the time and deemed not needed, is what we were told. However, we will be getting the port engine, uh, re the exhaust replaced as preventative maintenance because it's eventually going to need it anyway. So, uh, that is the story on the Yamahas. They run strong to this day. Uh, we ran the piss out of it on the sea trial and uh, it run, they both run very well. Uh, the boat has the hydraulic steering with uh, a little integrated transom with a walk-through transom as well or a fish door if you're catching some uh, big tuna. Fold down ladder on that side. Factory hard top full canvas enclosure it also has the backdrop it's not currently on the boat is in good condition for the year a nice walk around where you don't have to turn sideways to fit your feet through free windless free for all free fall horizon uh, windless anchor with a bow pulpit integrated with a anchor locker as well. Bomar hatch for forward ventilation. This boat has a very nice electronics package. Not that current, however, uh, it works very well for an offshore fisherman. I think it was probably a $10,000 package back in 03. Sorry, I don't have it on yet. I'll turn it on and then work back. Um, off the transom, we have the full bolster package, which is nice for when you're fighting fish and your knees don't get beat up. You also have the back bench seat area. All the upholstery is in pretty good shape. Dual batteries, it's actually triple batteries with two battery switches. Floor is non-skid in a self-failing cockpit. Floor is solid. There is a little bit of give right here around this hatch, which is very normal for the Grady's. All the uh, through halls were also replaced a few years ago, the previous owner stated. To stainless through halls. You got a nice little cutting board here with a fish well. Actually, this is not the uh, this is not the live well, but this is like a nice little cutting board area, wash sink, and there's, uh, it is drainable. Here's a nice little storage area as well. If you uh, excuse me for a second, here are all your batteries. They were replaced last year. We were told. And there's your bilge. All your access to your pumps and uh, seacocks. This boat does have an auxiliary and a main, so it's about 200 gallons of fuel, which is more than what you need for an offshore trip. Here's your live well. Looks like we got to replace that gas shock, which we will do. Insulated cooler box on this side. Ladder back seat. Nice little bench seat on the port side as well. Raw water wash down, aerated live well. Big fit insulated fish boxes. We do have this armrest. Uh, it just needs to be re-glued. All the upholstery is in pretty good shape, just needs a, a snap or two. 
hydraulic trim tabs, windlass anchor, radar, GPS, sonar, all within that Furuno unit. You also have the up top, the electronics box with the uh, VHF ICOM radio and more storage over here if you want to add something. You got the little U windows in the enclosure for ventilation on both port starboard and front. Little crack in the there. Nice thing about this boat is there's plenty of salon space for your gear. Headliner shows very well. AM FM radio with two speakers. You do have a little uh, microwave refrigerator. Uh, this is where the alcohol stove would go if you did want it. A little wash sink with a fresh water system. You also have your shore power system right there if you choose to use it. A little aft cabin. There's your back enclosure with cushions and your additional cushions for the bow. Enclosed head with a pump out. Nice little head area to take your uh, bathroom breaks. Don't have to go over the side and the ladies will be happy with this as well. There's storage under both port and starboard as well underneath these cushions so you can uh, in a pinch take a nap in here or overnight in it if you so choose. Very simple um, forward rebirth area. Gary will get her up on plane and show you how she runs. Boat will run out. gets right up on plane with the twin 225s. Boat will cruise fully loaded about 39 to 42 miles per hour depending on gear, fuel. All day long cruising speed around 29 to 32 miles per hour. What's nice about the four strokes are they very quiet and very reliable. I did put the hours on the website. I apologize. I forgot to look at the exact hours. It's like 870, 880, somewhere in that range. These four stroke engines you can throw hours on. They are built to last once the exhausts have been done. Very pretty boat, guys, for the year. Remember, at MM Boats, we sell boats for less, guaranteed. We encourage you to shop this price. It is definitely below market value, as you will find when you do some research. You can follow us on our YouTube channel, Facebook page. And of course, double check our website to make sure the boat is still available. Our phone number 410-391-2333, mmboats.com. Thanks for watching, guys.